Bienvenidos! Welcome to Spain on Fork. In today's episode, we're going back to traditional Spanish cooking and we're making a Spanish paella. Now, the paella we're making today is not just any paella. It is a seafood lover's paella, which means it's going to be loaded with an insane amount of seafood, which gives the paella such an incredible flavor, guys. This paella is so easy to make, like seriously, super easy to put together, and it's done in just 45 minutes. Now to make this paella, I am using a paella pan. Uh, the size of this one is a 12 inch diameter. This recipe feeds between two to three people. So this is the perfect size to make this paella. Second thing, I am using some round rice. This is very similar to medium grain rice, no substitutions. And last but not least, I am using some high quality saffron. You know, the saffron is one of the most important ingredients in a paella. Do not use the imitation stuff. Use high quality saffron. You guys will find links to the equipment and ingredients I'm using to make this paella in the description box below. I'm going to begin by getting all the seafood ready. I've got two clean tubes of squid. I bought these frozen and thawed them out. So important to pat them down with some paper towels to remove any of the excess water. That way the squid have a beautiful texture and flavor. And I'm gonna cut each tube of squid into one inch squares. For the next ingredient, I've got two tuna steaks. Again, I bought these frozen and thawed them out. I'm gonna pat them down with some paper towels. Cut them into half inch squares. And season the tuna with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. Moving on, I've got 14 ounces of cod once again. I bought this frozen and thawed it out, and I'm gonna pat it down with some paper towels. In fact, all the seafood that I'm using to make this seafood lover Spanish paella, I bought frozen and thawed out just to make things a lot cheaper. And I'm gonna cut the cod into half inch pieces as well. And season it with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And for the last seafood ingredient to prepare, I've got 15 raw jumbo shrimp. These have been peeled in vain. Once again, I'm gonna pat these down with some paper towels. So important, guys. This removes any of that extra moisture or water inside of the fish to give it a beautiful texture and flavor. And I'm gonna season the shrimps with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. All right, let's start cooking our seafood lover Spanish paella. I'm gonna grab a paella pan Heat it with a medium high heat and add in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. One minute after heating the olive oil, I'm gonna season it with sea salt and add in the pieces of squid. And I'm gonna mix the squid with the extra virgin olive oil. You wanna mix this continuously, that way all the squid cooks evenly. After cooking the squid for one minute, I'm gonna add in four cloves of garlic that I roughly minced and continue to mix this together. About 20 seconds after adding the garlic into the pan, you don't wanna overcook them. I'm gonna add in half a cup of canned tomato sauce, season everything with sea salt, and a generous half teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika and mix this all together until it's well combined. One minute after adding the tomato sauce into the pan, I'm gonna add in two and a quarter cups of a good quality fish broth. Pinch in half a teaspoon of saffron threads and give this a gentle mix, that way everything's evenly divided. Once this comes to a boil, I'm gonna let it boil for an extra minute. That way that saffron can really infuse into the broth. Then I'm gonna add in one cup of round rice. Once again, guys, this is very similar to medium grain rice or arboreal rice. And I'm gonna get in there and give this a gentle mix. That way all the ingredients are evenly divided. And like I always tell you guys, after this step, you don't wanna mix the rice because it disrupts the way that it cooks, but you can always give the pan a quick shake once in a while. Five minutes after adding the rice into the pan, I'm gonna add in our pieces of tuna and our pieces of cod. And gently mix them around. That way they're all evenly divided. 
two minutes after adding the tuna and the cod into the pan, I'm gonna add in the 15 raw jumbo shrimp. And I'm also gonna add in 12 clams. Now the clams that I'm using are frozen clams. If you prefer to use the fresh ones, add them in at the same time as the tuna and the cod. And again guys, you can always give the pan a quick shake once in a while, that way everything's evenly divided. All right, it's been a total of 10 minutes since I added the rice into the pan. At this point, I'm gonna lower the fire to a low medium heat and I'm gonna let this simmer between three to four minutes. After simmering this for four minutes and there's very little broth left, it's time to achieve that socorrat, which is that layer of caramelized burnt rice underneath. I'm gonna hit this to a medium high heat and go between 60 to 90 seconds. Now every pan and stove top heats differently, so keep an eye on it, but usually it's between 60 to 90 seconds to get that perfect socorrat. Then I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat cover it with some foil paper and a dishcloth. This is such an important step when you're finishing a paella. This is what finishes cooking up that rice. After five minutes, I'm gonna uncover the paella. And that's it guys, our seafood lover's Spanish paella is done. Look how easy it was to put this together and look how insane it turned out. When you combine all these different fishes together, it makes for an explosion of flavors. Really quick before I go, let's find out if I achieved that socorra, which is that layer of caramelized burnt rice underneath. And check it out guys, there it is. This is such an important part of a paella. It's what adds texture to the rice guys. It does not get better or easier than this. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.